Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the Pokemon Alpha Sapphire No Catch Run. In the last part, we made it all the way up to. Let's see, I think we got Latios and then we made it all. Oh, sorry, Latias. And made it all the way up to the weather. Uh, station? I guess that's not the right word. Institute. Institute is the word I'm looking for. Uh, we made it all the way to the Weather Institute, and we found out it was taken over by Team Aqua. So, we are, well, switching out our, our Anorith. I don't think he's a high enough level to handle it, but Pikachu should be fine. Um, so we're trying to uh, train up both Wobbuffet and Anorith in this area. Alongside, we're clearing out Team Aqua and getting ready to head towards our sixth gem. Um, most of our team has actually gotten to a good portion of where they need to be, like um, Pikachu's done, Wobbuffet's done, uh, Latias is done. Um, we're gonna be getting another member of our team, our last member of our team actually, pretty soon, uh, and then that'll be done as well. Maybe I should be using Rock Smash for Pikachu? I'm not sure. Especially if he keeps snarling me. But Icicle Crash is a nice and strong move. Um, takes advantage of my special, so... No, it's a physical, isn't it? I don't know why I keep thinking it's a special move every time. I don't think I have enough uh, HP and me to survive another hit from my Diana. Alright, we're going to switch again. Um, I guess, well, yes, we just got you. Let's see how you're going to do in battle for us. It's good we do just get Latias because it's a free level 30 pretty early. Swagger boosting up our stats, which means it would have been safe for Pikachu to stay in. Uh, but, I mean, you never know. I would say, I don't think Psycho Shift's gonna damage. No. So, our only real attack right now is Dragon's Breath. That's not really good, not to start with, no. But three of our team members are going to get some decent experience out of this, so that is a perfect start. What is the last Pokemon we're looking at going to be? Golbat. Marshtomp, do you still have Rock Slide? You do. Come on out, Marshtomp. Uh, We'll just settle on finishing the fights quickly in this case. Um, yeah, I'm hoping to take care of the Windsor Institute and probably get to one more fight after it uh, for this part. What is with Team Aqua and always wanting our people confused? Like, they've got Swagger, they've got Confuse Ray, and then when I'm not confused, I just miss. I swear, the game is cheating at times, but I mean, I guess there's nothing really stopping me from using the same strategy against them, uh, because, well, we are given plenty of confusion moves, it's just, it's not a way I personally like to play, I don't like to use confusion or most statuses uh, most of the time, but I mean, I can't really argue their effectiveness, uh, especially when they're used against uh, us. Like, for some reason, the games, uh, their, well, their, what is it, uh, their statuses will hit us 90% of the time, even if it's a 50% chance. Uh, like, if I'm poisoned here. I'm actually a little surprised I wasn't poisoned. Um, it wouldn't have surprised me at all, because when I was poisoned, like, I'm just used to, if they're using a move that poisons, getting poisoned. I'm gonna shift that back a bit, actually, it feels a little close. Uh, I've moved my uh, area since last time I recorded some of this, so I'm out in the uh, main living room now instead of uh, back in the corner where I was before. But with that, that's Marsh Tomp's evolution. So it looks like Marsh Tomp's going to get one more well, boost to power. We've got ourselves a Swampert now. Do, 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 do. I think Swampert's going to handle things pretty well for us. Um, also, yeah. And I'm going to be taking full advantage of this. There's a bed right here to heal back up. 
Oh. I thought there was going to be a text box after, so I was spamming A. C. Alright, Anorith, you're still too low a level. I know I should have been doing grinding on him, um, but I can't. Uh, like, I didn't go back and I was planning on actually going through and wiping out everything on that route we just finished, but I just, I never got a chance to in between the episodes, even though I did just take an extra week off. But, but we're up against Team Aqua Grunt. I don't like that they don't have names. I mean, I don't think the names would really change anything, but I don't know, it just would have a more personal touch to these nameless grunts. Um, yeah, sir. Let's see, our new Swampert Surf does... Almost. So it did about 90-95% of its health. And take no real damage from that. Mud shot, finish him off. It's super effective! Alright, so Mud Shot is what we're using on anything. Uh, poison, I guess, from now on? That one was a much quicker fight than the last one. I think there's three fights up here. Looks like it. One, two, three. Oh. The awakening of the super ancient Pokemon is about to bring extreme weather. I skipped that cutscene, but it's basically them just saying, hey, return the, I think it's research notes that you've stolen, which is Basically, they're trying to figure out exactly what extent um, the legendary Pokémon they want to awaken is going to affect the world, and if it's going to affect it as enough for their um, projections. So, mud shot. Carvana's down. We might be able to get out, of, get away with just mud shot, shotting to finish up. Mighty Anna, I think we'd rather Sir. All things considered. We're gonna take a little bit of damage, uh, sorry, a little bit of uh, attack down from Intimidate, but I think Surf should be fine. And. If he has more than 5 health, I am amazed. Come on. Game. You can't put him up by sliver health. Okay, he lives. I know there's a range to those attacks. Either. Make it the lowest on the range if you're gonna make it so I don't kill it anyway, so I don't feel like, oh, I should have killed it. Oh. Um, or, like, if it's gonna be that close, just give it to me. It's one or two health. Not gonna change the battle in the long run. Hello, Team Aqua Grunt number four. Oh, uh, Golbat, so we're actually gonna wanna use our wrong move again. Uh, maybe we'll get lucky and maybe get a crit to finish him off on hit. I guess the only real issue I have with Swampert is speed. He doesn't feel fast enough. Um, whereas some, some of the other starters, like I usually go with uh, Trico, and Trico I think feels really quick comparison. Uh, and then there's uh, Chikorita and by extension Blaziken. Uh, and they even have speed boost as one of their abilities, so I think they're speed based as well. I'm gonna put Anorith back in the lead. Um, not going to get too much use in this fight, but, well, I want to try to get some extra experience for it. Even when it's you, when I'm not on the... You were just raiding this place for fun, then? You're not on the clock? I'm so confused. Battle so straightforwardly and sincerely with such hope, it makes me so mad. I guess that's a compliment? But hello, Aqua Admin Shelly, with just Sharpedo. Oh. If I was thinking, I should have went with uh, the Leap and, as a result, Cradily. Uh, I don't know why I decided against doing that. Swagger, so we're going to get a nice attack boost. I think it's a plus two, or is it a plus one? Oh, it rose sharply, so it's a plus two. Now we're actually going to be hitting hard enough. If we hadn't hit ourselves, we might have actually killed him with that move, because it's super effective against Sharpedo. We'll switch over to Wobbuffet. Let's see what uh, we're going to get hit with to start. 
Well, Fett has so much health. Ice Fang. So we should be running counter in this situation. Slash. Took a lot of health damage there. And almost took down Sharpedo in one hit. Um, you know what? I think Wobbuffet's going to have enough. We'll give it a Moomoo Moon. Get it back up to full. Take a hit from Sharpedo. Might even be a Swagger if we're lucky. Um, nope, it's Slash. Oh, and a crit. You know what? I think we have enough health to survive a regular one. We'll counter again. Let's see. If it's a crit, we die. No crit, so Sharpedo's down. Kinda defeats the whole experience purpose there. Getting killed by the rough skin of all things. It's a cute move. Bug Bite is a cute move. Not what I wanted to do, but... Oh, steals the berry. Ah, uh, yeah, we're gonna... As much as that move is nice, I never get Aneris out for long enough to use it. Maybe if one it evolves, we'll be able to, but for right now, I think we'll have to stick with the other ways. But we took out Aqua Admin Shelly. Hmm. More relax. As a token of gratitude, tell you one thing. When Team Aqua, no, when the illustrious Archie's ambitions have been realized, the world will return to its beginnings, to before the birth of anything at all. Think for yourself about what to do when you're up against that reality. Still have to figure out for myself what's wrong and what's right. See ya, I'm sure I'll run to you again though. Archie is probably on the way to Mount Pyre, so I... Alright, so Mount Pyre is our next destination. Thank you, young one. You've saved us from quite a pinch. You okay there, mate? That was truly a slap in the face. What could they hope to gain by investigating the extreme weather patterns of thousands of years ago? Must thank you for your help. Here, take the Pokemon. And there it is, our last team member. Cast form. You see, I think I, I gave it all of the forms for the little picture for it. And it's an interesting one. It changes based on the weather outside. So when it's raining, like it usually is on that route for the uh, Weather Institute, we get that guy right there in the bottom, uh, the raindrop head. So Mega Evolution is achieved by anything other than the super ancient legendary Pokemon. So it's utterly forgotten as a method of evolution. So it's Primal Revision, I think is what they're call it, they called it. Uh, and that is Omega Groudon and uh, Alpha Kyogre. I think. I think those are the names. In any case, it's a very helpful uh, ability. And we haven't used Mega Evolution yet on our guys, but we've got Cast Form now joining the party. I'm gonna put Wobbuffet in the lead. Level wise, we're pretty much sorted. Cast Form and Latias came to us at level 30. So it's really just Wobbuffet and Anarest that we need to. Um, get any further. But that was the Weather Institute. Now, I could head south and continue on the training, but the Team Aqua Grunts from here are gone, so I say, let's cross and continue. And we're going to be ending it out with a battle against May. Where have we been hiding, looking all over for us? We stole it from Steven. We can keep getting closer to our Pokemon. Some guys have all the luck. Not about to lose to you and some accessory. Let's see who's best in battle. Your Pokemon already? Of course they are. Let's go. I have forgotten to heal up when I was leaving the Weather Institute on a particularly bad run of it. And I wound up having, like, no health for this situation. So, first thing we're fighting is a Slugma. Pretty bad situation for him because, well, we're already starting out in rain. But it's, it's a much higher level. I'm going to actually Mirror Coat. Hope that it's going to use a special move, which it looks like it did. Ancient Power. Not too much damage, but Mirror Coat's going to at least give out 
Look at that. Almost took him out in one hit. Let's throw another one down. Flame Burst. Uh, I can't tell if this one's going to be special or physical. Special it seems. Slugma is down. This is where Boba Fett really shines. When the Pokemon only really has one type it can hit you with. Up against Grovile. This one, I'm gonna keep battling. I wanna see if Wobba Fett is gonna have enough defense to really wall down these guys. Uh, I'm gonna counter. He's probably gonna use Leaf Blade. Or, for, oh, Pursuit. Ooh, Pursuit's gonna hit. Not as hard as I thought. I mean, it's letting us hit back pretty hard. Pursuit again. We'll live it. I mean, short of a crit, I think we were living to that. And we just took down two of May's team. I never get to use Wobba Fett, but I guess if you know what sort of moves they're coming out with, I thought he was going to Leaf Blade us, because that's what he usually uses, sorry, what she usually uses on, um, yeah, you know what, if we're going to move for Recover, I know you're going to lose one for, what is Psycho Ship? Oh, Transfers Status Condition, interesting. There. We learned Recover, so we have Recover and Heal Pulse, making them really good for well, level battles. Up against Whalmer. Well, um, Wobba well, Fett's done well, but I don't think he can tank one more from uh, May's team without healing. So, let's bring out Pikachu. Uh, should be able to handle this, well, Whalmer pretty quickly. Uh, and from now on, I might be leading with Wobba well, for major fights, because... A lot of the time, you can see what's going to be coming up ahead. He came shrouded in mist. A second Electro Ball takes him out, no problem whatsoever, even though we really didn't use anyone the right level for this fight. Wobba Fett is way under leveled for where we're at. I bet you if he was competently leveled, say level 30, he might have been able to tank out all three of these targets. But then again, he'd also have taken less damage. We got HM2 Fly. A very useful one, but requires the gym badge from Fortree City to use it outside of battle. And they'd go again with your mom misses you. If they didn't teleport you like they do in this game all the time, uh, we would have already visited our mom. But, I mean, we didn't really have a chance. So, welcome to Fortree City. Let's head right towards the gym. I'm gonna. I, uh, now nah, we're we're healed up enough. Well, the fat did a good chunk of tanking. I'm gonna head right towards the gym. See what's gonna happen. I'm sure. Uh, oh, there is an invisible obstacle in our way. That's what I'm gonna call it. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, Pokemon Alpha Sapphire, no catch. In the next part, well, we're going to find out what to do about this invisible obstacle in our way. See you guys then.